up everybody welcome back um so one thing i wanted to uh bring here today was this uh darwin fpv um flight controller stack now i saw this thing on what was this pyro drone and i didn't find any information on youtube about this thing so you know what for the price i think it was like 43 dollars i figured i would get one now the interesting thing when i saw this was this flight controller looks exactly like the one uh, for the Tyro 119 as well as the 129 um, with all the uh, features, specs, and just the overall visual of it. So um, we're going to go over this thing. I'm just going to show you guys uh, what you get with this kit. Um, so this is the flight controller here. Uh, you got your direction pad here. Um, this one is interesting uh, compared to the Mambas that I've used. Um, I mainly use the F4s, uh, but this one here, um, it does have direct plugins. So you have, you know, your your plugin to your ESC. You have your camera, uh, VTX. Uh, this one's for a GPS, LEDs, uh, and then your receiver. Uh, the other cool thing on here, and the one thing that made me notice with the Tyro is that there's these three little. Uh, soldering points right there for S bus. Let me see if I can get this thing to zoom in. Right there, um, where you basically have to jump it. Uh, I noticed that because that's one of the things I had to do for the Tyro. And then, you know, upon further looking at this thing, it was almost identical. Um, now, if you don't have the direct plugins or you don't want to use them on the bottom, and I just dropped it. God damn it. All right. Should still be good. We'll, we'll test it out. Whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, the other cool thing on the bottom is that you can also solder everything right here. Uh, the other cool thing is that you do have a, uh, for an SD card, to basically uh, black box everything. I know a lot of them have like 16 megabytes or 8 megabytes of, of memory built in for black box logging. This one you can just run an external uh, SD card. Uh for logging, yeah, it's it's okay, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, the other thing that I noticed too is that it's pretty much the exact same thing uh, with the ESC. It's a 50 amp ESC. Uh, it does come with the uh, uh, capacitor on here. This one is 470, yeah, 470 uh, uh, microfarad, and you do have your negative on here, so they did do it right with the ground battery. Um, it doesn't have the most amount of protection on here, but for the Tyro, I run it 5 and 6S, and it, it, it works out great. Um, the other th thing you get with this, I believe, is just all the wiring, because they put all the standoffs on here. I'll try and open this. Yeah, so you get all of the wiring. Um, basically, you have to put all the wires together, though, which is kind of a pain. But you get everything there, and... Uh, you get your standoffs, your XT30, and then uh, your two wires. So I thought this was a pretty interesting thing. I'm probably going to use this one on my cheap freestyle build. And then, uh, yeah, I'll go over that and we'll we'll build that. The other thing, too, that I found in there is that they also, so they're making a 30, they make a 20 version, too. Uh, that's a 30 amp. That's pretty much identical. It's just, you know, for a 20 by 20. So everything's pretty much the same. It's just scaled down, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, so it gives you a couple different options here for this one. So, uh, but other than that, yeah, other, other than the uh, the actual rating, the 30 amp to 50 amp, they're pretty much the same, uh, and you get the same components uh, for wiring everything in, which is pretty cool. Um, but I'm gonna wire this thing up, and then uh, it'll probably be on the build video, which I'll attach here. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you.